be like this. In two dimensional space, and I, uh, sorry, metric terms are something like this. So, which is given as some i plus j. So, we can do with not even this, here with you, you can do, but it's a three di two dimension. So, therefore, I am putting, I put ij, okay. So, indices mu j, mu nu, this is usually used for four vectors that metric in that in cosmic space. Okay, so now compute GID. Compute, so this is on covariant index, correct? So metric is written in covariant form, and this is contraband, that is upper indices. So how to transform this covariant contraband? Okay, so that we have to do. So this is very simple since we are writing a matrix uh, form, it's very simple. So what you should do, it's nothing but taking the inverse of the matrices. It's inverse of a matrix is cofactor of matrix the transpose, that is adjoint of A by the determinant. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I return that point, correct? So that is the so calculation is taking an inverse, taking an inverse of this. And what is this? It's a matrix element. It's a matrix element. So we have to compute first the matrix element and take the inverse, you will get the answer. So that's very simple problem. First we will do this problem. So what is G11? 2. What is G12? It's a two dimension, correct? Two by two matrix. What is G12? 3. What is this? 3. And this is? Four. Now compute the data. So G. So G I. G is two, three, three, four. So G, this is G I J. What is determinant of G I J? That is G. It's a two by two matrix. Minus one. Minus one. Now what is the inverse of this matrix? Inverse of this matrix is very simple, that is 1 by determinant of A and then you take C A, B, C, D If it's, this is a matrix, then its inverse is A, D minus B, C Then you can write this D will take here and A will take here and change the sign of this Provided A, D minus B, C, that is determinant is not equal to, that is equal to not equal to zero. If it is singular, that is determinant is zero, then inverse does not exist. So this condition you should check. A D minus B C. So what is what is the answer? So this is minus of minus four, minus two, three, three. So that's it. This is the answer. So, minus uh, minus uh, minus uh, Let's do it for at least the, uh, the coordinates which we are using in the master degree. That is spherical Cartesian coordinates, spherical polar coordinates, and cylindrical coordinates. At least we will do, we will compute this. So, what is the metric in Cartesian coordinate? What is the metric in Cartesian coordinate? D square is equal to G nu nu dx correct so the metric is see this is orthogonal suppose we take orthogonal coordinate system metric is diagonal diagonal matrix Metric is written in the diagonal form. If it is non orthogonal, then you will have non diagonal matrix. Okay, non zero diagonal matrix will present. So, since we are using orthogonal, therefore, the metric is diagonal matrix. For Cartesian case, for 
what Cartesian coordinate system. So you can write this, this as g mu nu. This is written as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. The reason is, I will tell you the reason. So what is the length in Cartesian point? So you, can, you will write the length in Cartesian coordinate as dx square length of dy square plus dz square. Element of length, the square of this is written in this way. Correct? So therefore, uh, this is dx, x is taken as x1, correct? And y is taken as uh, x2 and z is taken as x3, x1, x1, dx2, dx2, plus dx3, dx3. Now you can easily identify this. Uh, this is a simple way of doing this because we, one can also do with other, uh, there is another way when it is, uh, I think this is enough.